check out these channels, guys. This is Digging It Back. They've got a giveaway for 200. They're nearly there. So let's help them get there. And the detectives, as always, are fabulous. Right, people. It's time for the Dig It results. Make the best man win. Or woman. And off we go. Right, start. And it's playing. It's going. It's going to stop. When's it going to stop? It's going to stop at the digging it back. Well done, guys. And then number is number 20. Oh, good number. Good 26. Number. 26. That's the coin range. Um, you're automatically going to go uh, get a bag seal, a horsey bag seal, a, some stickers and a find box. So we will be sending this to you. But you must email us. Uh, with your address so we can post it off to you after Sunday. This video will be coming up in the midweek. Right guys, and we'll see you on the first hole. See you on the first hole. Right guys, Rachel's just come over. Down here, I'll do mine first, yeah. I think I've got myself my first coin. First coin of the day. You could probably hear. I think she's got a snake buckle. One of my bucket lifters. She's got it. Uh, don't look like I'm going to get anything off this. A bit crispy. A little dub dub to see. That is a bucket No, going to be a crispy one. So, I think I'll just see the lady in the wheelchair just there. But yeah, probably a, a Vicky or a George uh, third. Right, let's keep going. Let's see what she's got. All right, hello guys. I'll do mine first. I yeah. think I might have myself a snake buckle. I'm pretty sure I've had to come over to Jamie and have a little look because I've never found one before. But we think that there is some decorative bits on there around here. Around uh, here, that I think is possibly it is a snake buckle. Oh, if that is, that is a bucket lister for Jamie and for me. <laughs> and I've just got two today, but I'm gonna have to double check and make sure when we get home that it is. So I think that it might have been broken off a bit at the side there, it would have come all the way around. Right, let's keep going. Let's see what she's got. But, oh, if that is, oh, that's got. amazing because that is one of another top bucket lister items. Got it. <sighs> oh, that it, that, I'm sure that's a snake buckle. I am so sure. Because if you look at it closely, you can see the head. I don't know if it's going to focus. But. Oh, well, I think James is going to take over on his camera now, so I hope uh, I shall end it on this one, but uh, that is how exciting. Because if you look at it closely, so you see the head. I don't think it focus. Hold on, there's got some old net there. But... Oh, well, I think James is going to take over on his camera now, so I hope uh, I shall end it on this one, but uh, that is if you guys say it's not a snake buckle, please comment below. Because <laughs> uh, that's not fair. It looks like one to me. Looks like the tail's broken off there. That'd be the head. I did see, if I get close enough, some little. It's on the other side. What, the patterns? Yeah. Yeah, if you turn it over. Oh, on the other side. Yeah, it's there. Look. Oh, yeah. See, see? See those. See those patterns. Patterns and there. Down here. You can see them. And down there. I've got a feeling that is. Oh, go away. You've got my bucket list. That's, <laughs> that's two bucket listers you've got today. It will be. That is a snake buckle, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Came in me. I'm right, guys. Uh, time's getting on. I'm going to turn you off now because I've had enough of this. <laughs> right. <laughs> on to the next hole. Alright guys, so I thought I'd film this, I've just unplugged it and on, on the metal detector I've got a solid 
20 and it's still in the uh, in the trap top so I'll go have a quick look because it's a, a solid number I thought I'd film this one live oh it's out right seeing that pump there and we've got oh that falling apart what we've got oh what we've got here we've got a coin No, no, the second one. But it's um, it's a half penny. <laughs> yeah, no, no, more than half penny. Well, not old. Yeah, just a our Elizabeth Queen half penny. That's why it came up as a solid number. All right, let's get going. Well, guys, just dug up this. No idea what it is. Whether it's a part of something pretty sharp it's quite long so got any ideas put in the comments below let me know I'll try and clean it up so you can see a better picture but yeah weird it's like flat flat down that side and then a little bit rounded on this side very strange all right carry on We'll do a semi-live one here, we've got a target just down there, coming at, at just under 20, so we'll dig it out gently, see what we've got. Oh, yep, yeah, we got it. That is that, and um, what we got here. Uh, so, uh, I think by the weight of it, it feels a bit leady. I think we just got well, a bit of pattern on there. Guys, we're nearly finishing for the day, but look what I just pulled up. I have no idea what it could be used for. Could be something just decorative, could be to turn something. It looks like a bit like a possible key. Could stand at the top of something to be a bit decorative on the top. No idea, but I like that. That should clean up really nicely. Looks like there's got some pattern on that. Yep, that's definitely got some pattern to it. Oh, that's a good find. Right, let's see if I can find anything else on the way back to the car. Right guys, I've got one of these. Now this, I think, is a dress pin. At, uh, like a cloak pin. So, it go one side and, you, and there'd be a hook on this side and it put your cloak together with a heart on it. So that's something different. Not old, old. Uh, probably in the early 1900s, in the war times. We might have had a cloak. But it would have been a girl's, I reckon. A girl's one. Or a coat. Right, something different. Okay, let's keep moving on. to make anything out on that on the field so hopefully we'll be able to give that a good clean up when we get home looks like I can see something on the back some patterns so maybe we'll be able to get an identification of it later it looks like there might be quite a lot of data on there but no can't tell but we'll clean it up Alright, 
I've got something in the old. I did pick it up. I'll just throw it back down. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Let's just give this a bit of a clean. I think this is a toy cannon. I haven't had one of these before. This is a it's a lead one. Do they, is it lead they come in? Eh? Yeah, I think. I can see a bit sticking out there and there's a bit of a room there. Now somewhere there should be a hole on top. It might be there. Yeah, it is. I can see the little hole there. That's a toy cannon. Awesome. I like that. <laughs> so good so far. What do you think? Let's keep going. Right, guys. I'm on to my second library button of the day. Same as the last one. Not as nice. Looks like most of the silver gilting has come off on this one. But you can still see he's a griffin. Same as the other one. So, that's cool. I do like these buttons. That's the second one of today. I think Jamie's got one, so there's three all together. Excellent. Let's keep going. Excellent finds today. Oh, guys, this was deep. I just pulled this out. I was looking at it. Oh, and then, I don't know if you can see it, but I saw stone. Yeah, yeah, can you see that? There's stones there. So this, no idea, but I'll be gentle with this. I don't know. There's stones in there. That's the back of it. Get back to you because it's quite delicate and I can see stones moving about. Right, get back to you and clean it up. Right, guys, what I'm gonna have to do, I can't really clean it. I think it's definitely a heart, and I can see a, a pin bit there, so it's a brooch. Uh, there's definitely stones, and I'm gonna have to put that into a really clean it very carefully. So I'm not going to uh, attempt to do it now. Okay, guys, I'll see you on the next. Right guys, I don't normally do semi-live digs, but I thought I'd do one with you this time. So, it's still in the hole. Let's see. Oh. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, let's turn that off. Right, it's just down this bit here. Right, let's have a look. Oh, oh, can you see that there? Oh, let's get rid of that bit. Look what I got myself. Try and get that off. Hey, I do believe that is a little watch winder. Oh, that's cool. That's something else different today. Oh, lots of great finds. Really enjoying today. Right, let's carry on. Guys, I might have a coin here. I'm hoping it's a coin and not a button. It's a bit crispy on that side. So, let's have a little... Oh, it's a coin. We got a coin. It's a lovely high number. Right. I don't think I'm going to get much off that. Let's see. Let's see what we get off it. Uh, no. No, it's definitely a coin, but very crispy. Okay, on to a coin. Brilliant. Let's keep going. More to find. Alright, guys. I've got yet myself another token. And that has got JP on it. That's a cool one. I like that one. Little one. Oh. And 
you got number four? Looks like number four on the back. JP4. Wonder if that's worth four for whatever they were selling at that time. I've not ever seen one with something on the back of it before. So that's a cool one. Like that. Right. Let's keep going. Bye, guys. Right. I found myself a button. And uh, it's one of those army buttons. that got the cannons on either side. So I quite like that. That actually clean up really nicely. <sighs> not as good as Jamie's uh, silver coin. But it's another find. So I'm pretty happy. All right. Let's carry on. I think I might have some silver just here. A little coin. Uh, so, see, so here. I think it might be a Vicky. Oh, it's a Vicky. It's like a Vicky bunnied. Oh, look at that. On the other side, it's going to be, I don't think it's a sixpence. No, it's a. Ooh! It's a fourpence. Yeah, it's a fourpence. 1848. Fourpence of Vicky. Vicky Bunhead. Oh, isn't that? Oh, brilliant. So that's another pound for the charity. Uh, so now we should be on 22 pounds. Really? Okay. Oh, that's brilliant. I've got some silver. It's first time in this field I've got silver and it's a coin. I am well chuffed. Let's keep going. 